Good day everyone, I am Marsa B. Pulga from BSN 2A and for today I will be discussing about the basic concepts in statistics. So let's get started. First, let's define what is statistic means. Statistics, it is a collection of methods for planning experiments, obtaining data and then analyzing, interpreting and drawing conclusions based on the data. So for the basic terms in statistics, data are the values that the variables can assume. A variable is characteristics that is observable or measurable in every unit of universe. Population is the set of all possible values of a variable. And for the sample, is, it is a subgroup of a population. So after we identify the basic terms in statistic we will now proceed on the classification of variables there are two classification the first one is the qualitative variables and the second one is the quantitative variables and for the qualitative variables um, it is words or codes that represent a class or category and it is expressed a categorical attribute such as gender, religion, marital status, highest educational attainment. And for the quantitative variables, it is number that represents an amount or a count, numerical data, sizes, or meaning pool and answer questions such as how many or how much. And for example, is for this is height, weight, household size, number of registered cars. And for the quantitative variables, it was classified as discrete variables and continuous variables. And for the discrete variables, it is data that can be counted. Um, for example, for this is number of days, number of siblings, usual number of texts, messages sent in, in a day usual daily allowance in school and for the continuous variables it can assume all values between any two specific values like 0 0.5 1.2 and etc and the data that can be measured for example weight height and body temperature we will now proceed on the variables so what is variables a variable is the heart or center concept in research. It is primarily measurable characteristic that changes in value. It may be different from characteristic to another characteristic, one group to another group, one person to another person, or even with the, with the same person over time. A variable can be anything that assume different numerical or categorical values. For the measurement scales, there are four variables, the ratio, interval, nominal, ordinal. So for the ratio and interval, it is both numerical. And for the nominal and ordinal, it is both categorical. So ratio variables um, have the properties of interval, interval variable and has a clear definition of zero. Indication that there is none of that variable and allows all arithmetic operation. Example for this is age, height, weight, distance, number of siblings. For the age, for example, 20 years old, 10 years old, 2 years old, 1 year old, and 0 year old. So, it is um, questionable as what is your height in feet and inches and what is your weight in kilograms, such as like that. And for interval variables, it provides information about order and provides an interval. It is also determined meaningful amounts of differences. Um, the characteristic is... It is one of the two types of quantitative variables and it takes numeric values and may be classified as a continuous variable type. And the arithmetic operation can be performed on interval variables. However, these operations are restricted to only addition and subtraction. Example for this is temperature. 
and uh, also one of um, the characteristic is the interval variables is an extension of the ordinal variable in other words we could say interval variables are built upon ordi ordinary variables um, the intervals on the scale are equal in an interval variable the scale is equidistant and interval variables um, measured using an interval scale which not only shows the order but also shows the exact difference in the value and it has no zero value and the other example for this is performance level of the students if the students such as outstanding very satisfactory satisfactory fairly satisfactory and did not meet expectation and also acute IQ test, time, and test score, and also the GPA or the grade point average. For ordinal variables, this involves data that arrange in some order but differences between data. It has two or more categories which can be ranked. The characteristic for these variables is it is an extension of nominal data and it has no standardized interval scale. It establishes a rel relative rank and measures qualitative traits and the median and mode can be analyzed. And it has a rank or order. Example for this is the ranking contest. Champion, first runner-up, second runner-up. And the Likert scale, it is used by researchers to prepare questionnaires and get people opinion. Like you must strongly agree, agree, disagree, and strongly disagree. Also, example for this is t-shirt sizes and military rank. Nominal variables represent categories that cannot be ordered and in any particular way. It is only a matter of distinguishing by name. The characteristic for these variables is the responses to a nominal variable can be divided into two or more categories. A nominal variable is qualitative, which means numbers are used here only to categorize or identify objects. Um, for example, what is your gender? And then also they can take quantitative values. However, these quantitative values do not have numeric properties that is arithmetic operations cannot be performed on them for example what is your hair color after which we will now proceed on different types of random something there are four types the simple random something systematic random something stratified random something and cluster something and for the simple random something it is a technique and is the most basic random sampling wherein each element in the population has an equal probability of being selected. And for the systematic random sampling, this can be done by listing all the elements in the population and selecting every next element in your population list. This is equi equally precise as the simple random sampling, and it is often used on long population lists to determine the interval to be used in identifying the samples to who will participate in the subject use the formula k over is equal n over n or the population over sample size and for stratified random something is a random something wherein the population is divided into different strata or division the number of samples will be um, proportionately pick in each stratum that is why all strata are representative represented in the samples and for the cluster sampling um, is a random sampling wherein population is divided into cluster or groups and then the clusters are random some randomly selected and all elements of the cluster randomly selected are considered the samples of the study
Lastly, different types of non-probability something. There are four types, which is the convenient something, noble something, and the quota something, and volunteer something. For the convenient something, wherein the researcher gathers data from the nearby sources of information exerting minimal effort. Convenience is being used by persons giving questionnaire on the streets to ask the passerby. And the stumble sampling or chain referral sampling is defined as a non-probability sampling technique in which the samples have traits that are rare to find. This is a sampling technique in which existing subjects provide referrals to recruit samples required for a research study. And for the quota sampling, sample units are picked for convenience for, but certain quotas are given to interviewers. This design is especially used in market research. Researchers choose these individuals according to specific traits or qualities. The volunteer sampling. Sample units are volunteers and in studies wherein the measuring process is painful or troublesome to our respondents. And that's all. Thank you for listening.